Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just got up for the day. <laughs> it's been it's been a rough day. Not really rough when you're in bed sleeping, right? <laughs> it's uh, it's Sunday, February fourteenth, and uh, it's three o five p.m. Um, uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm just uh so sleepy. I I had to make myself get up and take. To t I wanted to take my doggy out, you know, every day we, we go out at least once, even in the bad weather, but unless it's raining. Okay, so that's what I'm on here for. Our sister Tessa has been without power. She says, uh, hi, Miss Jeannie. I hope you get this prayer request. Now, this got in, came in to me at 250, so thankfully it's, it just came in. She said, phones not working correctly. We have been hit very hard by the ice storm in our area. Now, she's in, I think, North Carolina or might be South Carolina, but one of the Carolinas. And I didn't realize that they were even in the warning area. But anyway, she says, we have been without electricity and heat. And she has a little uh, young son, special needs. Um, well, maybe not special needs, but he has a, a special health problems, whatever. I'm not sure. She's never gone into it. But, but, but he, you know, she's sick. And I know that when you have pain, bone pain, and you're freezing, that bone pain is like so intense. They should go to a a shelter there are places like hospitals uh, shelters you can go to if you if your roads are travelable so anyway she said without electricity and heat since saturday morning please ask all the prayer warriors to pray for us and everyone around us the effect affected by the storm Thank you. God bless you. We love you, your little sister in Christ. Okay. Now, last night I was on a meeting with the Team Jesus. And one of them asked for prayer as well for their family member, a family, this husband, wife, four little children. And... I want to say Portland, Oregon. Or see, I didn't know they were supposed to get it, but one of you, Trisha, oh my goodness, the ice storm knocked limbs and trees, whole trees down all around her, and they didn't get a bit of damage. She said she prayed from like two or three Two, I think she said, in the morning when she started hearing them crash until 8 o'clock in the morning and kept hearing limbs hit the roof and was just praying that no, no big trees would fall on their roof. Well, the men that came later to start clearing it all away told her husband, who had gone out to just talk to him, that there was a couple... A, a couple in their bed a couple streets over the tree came crashing through their roof and stopped two inches above their their faces and I'm like oh can you imagine be laying there and all of a sudden this tree comes crashing in they must have been praying to I mean or God just had mercy on them the an older couple, I think he said. Anyway, so I'm watching. Uh, Trisha sent me this link uh, from VP Earth Watch, and I'm watching it now. And I want to leave the link. And there's probably others. I'm sure there. Mr. MBB333 is a good source. Um, that's Mr. Capital M, Capital B, Capital B. 333 three, three. I'm saying he's probably got one up too uh, but this is the real 
BP Earth Watch. I'm sure many of you are aware of him already, but if you haven't seen this, it's dated February 14th, and his title is Urgent Update, Ice Storm, Extreme Cold, Power Outages Coming. So some people have already been hit, and others are fixing to be. So we need to pray for... Uh, Tessa and the couple, I don't know their names, in Portland, Oregon. Lord knows if I got the city wrong, he'll know where they are. And anybody else he wants us to pray for, we don't even have to know them or know their name. Especially if you can pray in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will pray for them. And I want to pray, see today is the prayer and fasting for the military if any of you are doing that um i'm fasting till six and i'm i'm just saying that because not to brag but as you know people that have a channel are kind of a leader i feel like it, we have a, a leadership and we should be an example to you and so if we can't do it then why should you and we're asking you to do it. You know what I'm saying? So you just do what you can do. Maybe some people will do a fast of a different kind all day long. That's even better. Probably. But the Lord sees your heart. He knows your intentions. And put it with prayer, of course. Anyway, so we're praying for the, these people. And I also want to pray not only for the military. For what they maybe about to face because if you watch that video of Gwendolyn's you know she was talking about how many are just so young they'll go in right right out of high school and they're like yeah yes you know let's uh fight for our country and they're they're in a positive attitude and They could die. And they're probably being forced to take the you know what. Oh, it just. That part makes me so sad. They're so young. Anyway, um, let's also pray for the power companies. Please keep the power because right now they're they're heading to these places that are already out. And they know they're they're not going to get a break. They're fixing to head into from Texas. He's got all of Texas in pink. The state Utah, I believe that is. I don't know what the state is. Right to the left, right above, and all the way up to Ohio, and a little bit into I think that's New York. I'm not sure. My geography <laughs> lessons have left me long ago. But anyway, so if you feel led, please keep these people in your prayers. Uh, or just say some prayers for them now before you forget. And maybe at bedtime. I, I pray also that there are places opening up like hospitals letting their cafeterias be used to let people come in and get warm you know or maybe they've got some empty rooms where they can at least um i don't know move the beds out and move some comfy chairs in so you can get in more people although i'm sure they'd like to climb up in the bed and sleep but um, getting warm is the thing. Because if you get hypothermia, you will need one of them beds and some IV fluids and some warm blankets and whatever. I mean, more than just a place that's warm. So anyway, I'm going to end this here. I don't want to go on any further. Um, I plead the blood of Jesus over all of them. I ask, Father, that if it be your will, 
because this could be a judgment, y'all. Anybody think about that? I mean, I'm sorry that there's some probably first rounders, first fruits rapture people caught up in it. Uh, but he, this is a major storm. When you see this map of the United States and all the different colors and the ones, that, what they mean, I'm going to take a look at ours for this area. I'm fixing, because I always do that before I take my dog out. Anyway, so I got to see what's going on for Alabama. Let's plead the blood of Jesus over all the military that have to go out and fight. And let's try to remember to do that every night in our prayers. I plead the blood of Jesus over all the power employees that will be out in this cold fixing whatever goes out. I mean, it, it's probably from falling limbs that get frozen ice on them. Then the limbs break and they're heavy now because they're coated with a lot of ice. And they fall on these lines and break them. And they have to replace them. And so that ain't no, that's not a, a simple task when it's like this. And your hands have to be in gloves. And if you have to take your gloves off to do the fine work, I mean, it's just going to be a... If you're from the electric company or know somebody... Give us a comment about how what it's like to, to have to replace the line in this weather. I'd just be interested to know, but I know it's got to be hard. And I know that other states that aren't having the problems are going to send their men in, too. That's how they do it. They The different states close by will help the ones, like in North or South Carolina, wherever they have power out, if they can't, I mean, if it's not back on by now, then it must have been a major outage. It just makes me wonder. I just wonder. I kind of smell a rat in all of this. Not that, not from God. Not, don't misunderstand me. But you know how the Illuminati knows how to manipulate the weather, too. And Satan's got a little bit of time to do stuff also. But anyway, I'll say bye for now, and we'll talk to you later.